my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems and today we're going to be taking a look at multi-line attribute tags inside of SolidWorks Electrical Schematic Symbols. Now today, uh, like I mentioned, what we're going to be taking a look at is situations like this where we have two symbols and we have an attribute tag, a, a piece of metadata information here that's being displayed and in this case it's kind of a long piece of information. And So what we'd like to do is break it up into multiple lines rather than have it in this one big line like this. So the first thing that I've done is gone into this symbol here and gone into the component properties. So when you go to the component properties, we can see here the text that we want to make sure we make it to multiple different lines. And what I needed to do was add this symbol here, this little pipes symbol, also called a vertical bar. You can find that symbol uh, beneath your backspace uh, key on your keyboard. It's a, it shares the same key as the uh, forwards, or the, excuse me, the backslash. Um, but basically, you want to put that in whatever location in the text that you would like to break up into the line. And if you're going to break it up into three or four lines, you would put multiple of those. So in this case, we're going to break this up into uh, three lines. And so I'll add an additional one of those pipes here and then put down some more information. Uh, let's, be, let's say electrical shielded. And we'll go ahead and say OK. And you see how in this case it just tacks on some more text here into this symbol, which is not really what we want. So the second step to making the multi-line attribute is editing the symbol itself. So let's go into our symbol library for a moment. And what we're going to do is come down here into motors and find that same symbol that we've been using. Here it is, the three-phase motor there. And what we'll do uh, is find the one that's the right orientation. Here it is. And what we're going to do is create a copy of this. So let's go ahead and just right click, copy, right click, and paste. And now we have a new copy of this uh, inside of our system. We can go ahead and grab that. And what we're going to do is uh, go into the properties and give this just a new name so that we can remember what it is, three phases. Uh, and then we'll tack on to the name here, multi-line attribute. And in doing so, we'll just be able to identify it more easily. So we'll say, okay, double click it to go ahead and edit it. And then here's that last tagline, that last little bit of information, that metadata attribute that we'd like to go ahead and edit. So this is really simple. We just go ahead and go up to the top and you see under edit symbol, there's this multiple attribute tool. We're gonna go ahead and click on that, select our attribute, and you see here how that breaks it up into multiple ones. Now in this case, we can just continue uh, putting them down until we have gone to the number that we have here in the uh, property manager. So if you want to create more, you can go to four, five, six, so on and so forth. And this spacing here becomes irrelevant when you go and check on this specified position on screen, which is what I've done here. So then we just go ahead and place the last one and then we can exit the tool and we'll save this one, close this down, and we'll replace this symbol now with that copy. So we'll go here into our symbol, we'll go and replace that, the selected only here with the one in our drawing. Here's this new one that we've created with the multi-line attribute. We'll select that, and you see that now the text is broken up into three individual lines and fits within the box rather than bleeding over here into our other symbol. So if you like this little tips and tricks video for SolidWorks Electrical Schematic, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.